Hey everybody, it's Jasmine Walters and I am back with another video. Oh, y'all, today I did not feel like getting on this camera, but I am here with a short, quick message because I am committing to posting more and more content for y'all and getting to that 100 subscribers. So no content, no subscribers, no community. So I'm back. For those of you who are new to my channel, you're just finding this video. Hello, I'm Jazz. I am a faith-based entrepreneur. I own a candle business called Serenity and Vine Co. where I stand where I sand, where I sell candles and wax melts. And I will drop the link below in the description so you can go ahead and peruse the candles, the wax melts, the fragrances. Scented candles, it's fall, yes. And I am having a $10 off every time you spend $40 sale. So go ahead and uh, get those candles. I also public speak. I am a motivational speaker. I love to encourage, I love to inspire. And I love to serve you through the gift of speaking that God has given me. And the beauty of that is when I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to myself because I have either been through it or I'm going through it. And I also, hey, create digital content here on YouTube, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And so today I simply want to talk about um, walking through new doors, new seasons, um, new growth in your life, new mindset, and how sometimes you don't really walk into it believing that God has prepared it for you. God has prepared that new season and that new door. And this morning, I'm just here to tell you, you better believe, you better believe that God made you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. He made you to walk through that door with your head held high, with confidence on your face, with confidence in your body, with confidence in the, the steps that you take, the confidence in your walk, okay? And it's not a cockiness. It's not a conceitedness. It really is the blessing of the Lord on you and you and your energy and just God's grace, that people see when they see you. And so walk into that room knowing that God prepared everything for you to be there. And the thing about new seasons is that sometimes new seasons happen when we are coming out of a season that may not have been the best or it may not have been like terrible, but you know, you're just looking for more, you're wanting to elevate and you're wanting God to do something different. Like you want God to do a new thing. And so for my people who are coming out of a season that may have discouraged you, may have put you down in the dumps, may have stolen your peace, it may have made you question if you're worth it. It may have made you question your value. It may have made you question, am I really God's chosen one? Am I really God's child? Is God's word true? Can God hear me praying to him? Like all of these things, like this season that you stepped out of, that you left behind, you closed the door on, it made you, look, it tore you up from the floor up. That's what I'm gonna go with. It tore you up from the floor up. Toe up from the flow up, okay? And so you're coming out of that and you're probably beaten and you're probably bruised and you're probably... A still a little bit like scarred from that season and that's okay all right walk into the new season with those scars that's your testimony that is grace that is mercy that is God's love showing that even in the toughest of battles the toughest of storms he's got you and you've probably been feeling like you know <laughs> I mean God like, really? The new season? This is what you prepared for me? Like, this is better than the, this open door is better than the door that I, you know, left and closed and locked, you know? And yes, that door is for you. Your name is on that door, okay? And God has given you the keys to open it, right? Open the door! Open the door, okay? 
and believe in what God is saying about you. Believe. Believe. And part of believing is, you know, actually knowing and reading what God says about us. And so my challenge for you, my challenge for anybody who is going to find this later on or you're going to watch it today, my challenge for you is to start to spend time with God. Like start to spend more time with God, y'all. Because when you draw near to him, he draws near to you. And that is when you can ask for discernment. And that is when you can truly ask like, Lord, help me to really like hear your Holy Spirit and speak to the Holy Spirit inside of me so I can believe what you say about me. So when my steps that you're ordering come into fruition, I'm not sabotaging that season. I'm not cutting off that season too short. I'm not cutting off the blessing that you have for me. And so you don't want to get into self-sabotage because you don't believe what God says about you. All right? You don't want to self-sabotage. You want to walk into that door confidently. That blessing has your name on it. And look, the only person that can keep you from inheriting that blessing and grabbing hold and taking every single thing that was meant for you, the only person that can get in the way of that, truly can get in the way of that, is you. And that's a word for myself. So, yeah. The only person that can get in the way of what God has for you is you. So prep for it. Prepare for it. Make sure that you don't feel defeated because you've gone through a battle. All right? Don't feel dejected because you got knocked down. You got up, okay? You got up, right? And don't feel like what God says about you is untrue because of what you see and because of the circumstances. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. And I hope that whenever you watch this video, if you want to run it back, I hope that you walk in the fullness of everything that God has for you, okay? So yes, walk into that room knowing God prepared it for you. I am Jasmine Walters and I will be back with another video. If you like this, go ahead and like the video, subscribe. My goal is to get to 100, 100 subscribers by the new year, by January 1st. So hit that subscribe button, share, share, share. And as always, I hope you all are blessed, blessed, blessed. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.